So what exactly do you do with an extra 1151 processor, a Z270 motherboard, a TechWare Quad, and a little bit of other stuff? Well, you could always build a test bench, just like this guy right here. Well, obviously this is probably the most cheapest or the cheapest test bench I've ever seen in the market. It's 179 ringgit, well obviously it's the price of the TechWare Quad. Now if you missed my review of the TechWare Quad, you can check out the video right here. I actually reviewed the TechWare Quad, pretty decent case for those who are looking for a tinier cube factory kind of case because you know what it's really nice and neat and small however there are certain drawbacks and given the fact that i had an extra case i thought you know what hey let me do a little bit of a test bench so that i can get reviews out much quicker i don't have to throw things into the x99 pc because it makes more sense to review on 1151 motherboard instead and it's actually pretty straightforward now, all you have to do is just chop up four of the particular pillars if you see right here in the video just chop up four of it and you pretty much have a flat layout or a flat bench but if you actually want to keep the whole radiator bracket all you have to do is just cut two of the particular pillars and you're pretty much done now with just the dremel 3000 and my very limited dremeling skills here's a quick time lapse on how it all came down i really apologize though my dremeling skills are just awful And of course, a big shout out to eTech PC, TechWare Malaysia, and also SROC Malaysia for making this happen, for sending over this motherboard, for sending over this little case so that I can actually build this little test bench, probably fit um, any latest hardware. And that's really important so that for content creators like myself, I could actually come up with more content, more hardware reviews, even monitor reviews as well. I do not have to actually lug everything into the X99 uh, motherboard because you know what, it doesn't actually make sense for actually to review stuff on an X99 motherboard unless you're going for something a bit more specific. And of course, if you're more interested to find out more about this whole how process and stuff like that, but I think the whole time-lapse video will sort of explain everything. It's pretty straightforward. Use protective gear. If you have not, this little glasses right here is gonna protect your eyes from any form of fragments or surface of hard that goes into your eye because if it does go in it's really really uncomfortable man and of course give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and share it around if you found it useful and if you want to use it as a reference please do so as well and if you have not hit the subscribe button hit it right now at the subscribe button right there just hit the subscribe button man i'm on my way to a thousand subscribers thank you so much guys for your support and obviously i'm going to leave some links in the description section below as well and i will see you in my next video Bye bye